Hi, I'm Martina, the artist behind Martina's Fine Art. In this video, I will show you how I created this drawing with colored pencils and the brush and pencil painting kit uh, on Fisher 400. First of all, I created a digital drawing on my iPad using the photograph of the horse. I wanted to manipulate with the background a bit to make it more vivid, dynamic or some people even called it dramatic. In this way, I could experiment in a fast, easy way and try things out. Second, I made a line drawing using a grid and transferred it to the Fisher 400. I taped the whole piece on a firm piece of MDF because this piece was much too big for my drawing board. I'm using the whole Fisher 400 sheet, it's approximately 50 by 70 cm. Then I fixated the board to my drawing board with putty and tape. I'm a physiotherapist and have plenty of this medical tape stocked up here, but sometimes it works for my artist life too. We always make jokes of it and call it magical tape, and in this case, it just worked. Because of the size, you're looking from a weird angle. I couldn't get my camera in a better position with the equipment I have, but in spite of that, you can watch a process. Okay, well, I started with the background. With this system, using sanded paper and the brush and pencil supplies, you don't have to worry. You can create this relatively fast and can experiment, because you can erase, can layer almost indefinitely, and in my opinion, that's a real pro. You can be much more creative than uh, on other surfaces uh, because of that freedom. And because you can blend with a powder blender, you don't have to color in teeny tiny circles to get even coverage. Uh, when you turn your pencil while coloring, it automatically sharpens the pencil so you can use it way way longer and don't have to sharpen every minute. Here I started with the first blending. I always use pump pastel tools for the blending. Sometimes I use a brush, a short bristle one, and sometimes even my fingers. But there are several reasons to avoid your fingers as a blending tool. And when you try it, you can feel it. With a little powder blender, it's very easy to blend the sloppy strokes I've made. And you don't need much of the powder blender. And, of course, it will not influence the color. When that first layer is done, I can rework it, till I'm completely satisfied. Most of the time I create one or two layers and then spray it with the textured fixative. When you want to fixate previous layers or feel that you are not adding color anymore but just moving co the colored pencil particles around, just stop and spray your work. The only disadvantage of spraying is a drying time, but it's a good way to create a little break, step away from your work, make yourself a cup of tea or take the dog for a walk. The textured fixative is a real game changer in the colored pencil world, even more than the powder blender. It not only fixates the layers beneath, it also creates tooth to the paper, <coughs> which makes it easy to color on top of these layers, with darker colors but also with lighter colors. I've said it before, but you can draw with colored pencils with the mind of a painter. And after that first layers on the background, I switched to the horse. I knew I would return to the background later, but wanted to have color on every part of the horse before proceeding with the background. When I start with the horse, I mainly look where the lights and darks are. And it definitely isn't perfect in that first layer. It doesn't have to be, of course, because you can layer and layer and put in more and more details in every layer. When you're working on sanded paper and you know you want to blend colors, don't use pressure on your colored pencils, because this will push your pigments into the paper and will make it more difficult to blend. So let the paper scrape the colored pencil from your pencil. In this stadium I have my colored pencil very horizontal, 
Later, when I want to add small details, I use a much more vertical position of the colored pencil and also a sharper point, of course. When you want to use this system, it's important to use a non-observant surface. I like the UART, but I love the Fisher 400. In this layer, I look mainly for abstract shapes of color and where lights and darks are, but I don't put in the whites. For example, that white spot on the forehead, if you put in white right away, you will have trouble to create the shadows between the hairs. So I put in the gray shadow first and layer the whites on top of that in the next layer. While I was watching this video, I realized how often my boys walk to the kitchen. Three of them are living here. So when you see those moving legs, you will know. So in this first layer, it's really important to get an initial coverage of the paper. The colored pencil can be blended with a powder blender and the pen pastel tools, of course. But the color pencil should not stick to the surface too much because that will influence the blendability. The best colored pencils for this layer are the Polychromos from Faber Castell and the Derwent Procolor. Well, that's my opinion. And I know the Lira Rembrandt perform very well too, but I never had the opportunity to open that box yet. In subsequent layers, when you don't want to blend that much, you can use more wax containing colored pencils, like the Prismacolor, the Luminance, and I also like the Pablos in the final layers. They are the absolute winner when creating the sharp details in the last layers. For this project, I use the Polychromos, the Pro Colors, and the Luminance. But don't take this too strict, because sometimes it's just a matter of color which brand you will use. Then, in the next layer, I kind of glaze colors on top, rework the parts to get the right tonal values, which is really important to get a realistic drawing, and then I put more and more details in. To make the white in the background even lighter, I've used a mixture of titanium white powder and the powder blender. In the last layer, I've used the real whites, the white colored pencils I mean, but I didn't use a magical mixture this time. This is a mixture of titanium white powder with a touch of texture. It is used to create the whitest highlights, but I didn't need it here. Well, that's it. Of course, the best way to learn is to grab your own colored pencils and start drawing something you love. I love this horse very much. Her name is Courage. In English, it's pronounced Courage. A very beautiful name, I think. So, take your courage and create something yourself. If you have questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I like some interaction. And if you enjoy this video, maybe you can give me a like or a reaction. Subscribe if you don't want to miss upcoming videos. So color the world, see you next time and have a nice day.